Nice to see Josh Norris on the ice. Is he getting close? Can you update us on him? I think he's getting closer, but so it's a, yeah, it is encouraging to see him on the ice. I think uh, it's a good good exercise, a good uh, workout. So I, obviously he's progressing. Still don't know when exactly, but uh, the fact that he joined practice, I think, is a good sign. What did you work on in practice today, specific to maybe what you're going to see against Colorado and how you played the other night? Yeah, I, I think you know several things. One. Uh, Definitely our, our D zone coverage, you know, trying to uh, to do a better job uh, in that aspect. Uh, you know, we did some some two on two, some battles, and you know, like two on two, I think is important. Uh, boxing out, I think that's one area that I'd like our team to improve as far as uh, getting less people in front of the net, controlling the front of the net more, uh, making it more difficult for the opposition to get there, and uh, to be in a position when there's a rebound we could clear, you know. Um, you know, so I think you know, worked on our special units. You know, there's a lot of areas, but try to identify what's more pressing and uh, work from that. You've been the interim head coach now for almost, I think, just over a month. What have you learned about this team? You know, now that you're behind the bench, and um, just your reflections. Well, I think uh, I like our group. I think it's a it's a very good group and very good people. Uh, I think they have. Um, you know they're coachable. They they want to learn. They want to get better. Um, I think it's um, you know it's uh, what I've learned is that you know we got to keep working uh, on a regular basis on you know the details of the game. Uh, you know trying to improve our, our structure. Um, you know and we've changed a couple things. We, you know what work at our, our identity. I think you know that's that's part of the process. Something though, Jacques, that when you're trying to do it in season, you were talking. I talked to you last week in Calgary. You were saying like, you have so many practices. That's something you'd usually do in camp, right? And you're in trying to do it on the fly. Does that make the job more difficult? Like, well, it does, you know. But yeah, you have to adapt. And I think like you know that's why we've we've done. I think a lot of the teaching in the classroom in in our meeting, uh, because we just haven't had that many. Uh, chances to practice on the ice, uh, you know, because of the number of games, the traveling, we've been on the road, so it, it's difficult. You, you got to make sure that you allow the proper time to recover, uh, you know, and probably this week is a good example, like, you know, with the, you know, with the four game this week. Uh, so I think uh, you try to maximize when you do have a practice, but I still think that you can learn uh, through uh, video and uh, just trying to get better every day. Do you feel your team is learning in terms of the concepts so far under your tenure? Well, I think that uh, that uh, they're improving. You know, I think it's uh, it's work in, in progress. Uh, you know, I think a uh, good example when you look at the uh, the offensive zone time that we had last game. You know, it's encouraging. Uh, we've had some games where we've done a good job controlling the puck in the offensive zone. Lots of movement, getting to the net. Uh, you know the number of scoring chances that we create. So I think there's a progression there. Um, I think we just just need to keep focusing on on some of the details. Is there anything that surprised you in your hiatus? You know, you stepped away from the game and you've come back. That's really changed, in your opinion, in the National Hockey League. Maybe in terms of just how the players are uh, receptive to coaching. Uh, I don't think so because you know I hadn't been away from the game that long. Like you know, like. Really, it's only the two years that I was involved with the team, and then in that period, I, I did a fair amount of uh, TV work. So it uh, it kept me, uh, you know, in touch with the game, watching a lot of games, uh, having an opportunity to uh, to do some um, in period analysis uh, with TVA. So I think that was a great experience that way, uh, breaking down the game. So I've never been really away. I was away from the team, but. Um, I think in my last five, six years, I think the the, uh, the players, the game has changed. I think the uh, the speed of the game, and and I think that uh, we were probably part of it uh, in 2016 when I was in Pittsburgh when we won our two cups. We had a real quick team uh, that attacked a lot, a lot of pressure. So the National Hockey League usually tendency to to look at who wins and then they try to copy. And I think now like the model is the. Vegas Golden Knights last year, how did they win? They had four lines, a lot of good depth, you know, big bodies, good defense. So I, I think the game changes uh, constantly, I think. 
And uh, the, the big change to me is the, the skill level and the speed of execution of players today. I think like, that that's the one thing that, that's really changed. Um, that's why you, you, you've got to be, you got to be really sharp mentally when you play the game uh, away from the puck. But you know you see a lot of the good teams. You know, and as the season progress, you know you're seeing games now. You win one nothing, uh, two one. You know, uh, so it's not always a, a five four or high scoring games. It's, as you get closer to playoff, players, you know, and teams know that in order to win in the playoff, you really got to bear down. Skill that you're mentioning, how much harder is it to, to make your team play defense at the way you want to? Well, I think that's the same for for every uh, every team. I think one is, you know, is having the the, the proper mindset first of all, uh, you know, on the ice, and then number two, then it becomes uh, more of a technical aspect. But I think with a lot of the players, um, they have the skills not only offensively, they have the skills to be very effective away from the puck. It's just a matter of you know focusing on it and recognizing. To me, recognizing situations um, where uh, you got to apply those principles. You know, like I think I've never been a coach to take away any creativity to our team, but it's able. Um, it's being able to recognize situation. And I can't remember what goal. Uh, we scored last game, but it was a perfect example where Tim Stoodle came over the blue line and he was kind of jammed. It was really a two on four. He chipped the puck in. We kept the attack. We made a change and we en it ended up in, in a goal for us. But uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, Timmy would have tried to beat the guy, turn the puck over and we're back in our own end. So to me, it, it, it's learning on, on the fly, learning situation. Even if you're a highly skilled guy, there's time. If it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, hey, you got a green light. It's a if one on four, your chances of you beating four guys, it's not the right play. You said mindset. Can you maybe just describe what you mean by like a defensive mindset? Well, it's not. It's not really a def just defensive mindset. It, it's puck. It's uh, game management. Uh, you know, knowing the time of the game, knowing the score of the game, uh, knowing where you are on the ice. Uh, where you could use your creativity other times you can't you got to use some basic plays you know so that's a, it's part of the learning process how much do you plan on using Mad Silgard? uh i think he'll have an opportunity like i think he's uh, you know we uh, i look at the performance of a goaltender uh over uh past games against uh, that opposing team and see what his uh, stats are uh, try to help us in, in the decision making of who's going to play and who's not. What do you know of them? Like, uh, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think like he played last year. I think he's a young goalie uh, in this organization. You know, big body, uh, has done well. Was playing, he's playing very, was playing very well in Belleville. So to me, that's encouraging. You know, just uh, he'll get an opportunity, and then you know we go from there.